Guys, today we are going to be reviewing, or I'm going to be reviewing, every single mask and claw that I have. So as you can see, um, these are some right here. This is harder to film with the front camera facing me probably, or I don't know how you would say it, but these are the claws and those are, the, those are pretty cool ones. And, stuff. and these are all the masks down here. I don't know how to view it correctly, but yeah, that's what they that's what they all are. I have a lot of them, so let's get started with well yeah, I'm gonna try to name each one specifically what they look like. So these ones are called dragon armor claws. So let me I'm gonna pause the video and put them on because they're difficult. Done. Alright, so these are the dragon claws, right? I mean, the dragon armor claws. See how cool they look? Like, they have that cool design on them. They don't fit on perfectly, but they work. And yeah, that's, that's what they look like. And stuff. They're pretty cool. Alright. The next pair. And just so you know, once we're done, I'm gonna put everything in this box. Um, hold on, let me find it. Alright, yeah, once we're done, I'm gonna put everything in this box you see behind me. Alright, All right, next up are. Is it hearing it correctly? Next up are these Velociraptor claws from Jurassic Park. Yeah, okay. Alright, this is what they look like. See? See? They're pretty cool looking. Yeah, no, they're pretty cool. Alright, next are the werewolf claws. I got from Spirit Halloween. As you may see in this video, I'm gonna be have I I have lots of werewolf things to learn. So you might think I like werewolves a lot, but I'm actually I actually like dragons more. So these are the pair of werewolf claws. See? They're pretty cool. Yeah. You might think I'm crazy with all these claws and masks, but I love just getting into the Halloween spirit. It's fun. Next up are these huge skull hands. Just let me get them on. These things are a little tricky, but you can get probably used to them. Just getting them on. I'm just getting them on right now. Alright. So yeah, these are these gigantic skull hands. I bet these could fit like some some basketball player named Shaq or Shaquille O'Neal or whatever. Like, these are huge. I mean, look at this. Like, wow. Yeah, yeah. I'm annoyed that it doesn't cover the other side. Whatever. Alright, next one. Dimension. Some of these claws you'll see that they come with a mask because they have the same type of style. Alright, these are the Eagle Talon claws. Eagle Talon claws. They look pretty cool. Yeah, alright. I have to stop saying that same phrase. It, uh, pretty much everything I have looks cool. Alright, so I'm just going to show you them. I will tell you the name though of each one. So, yeah. And some of these masks are vintage. I got them 
either off of Amazon or eBay. And that's where you can find lots of vintage stuff. These are demon claws. I got these in store from Spirit Halloween. They're pretty cool. I just I'm showing you each side so you know what the other one looks like. If it has hair on them or not, like werewolf masks. I mean claws might be. And I will not show you the other side of the mask because it's basic. It'll basically. You know what? I guess I. Yeah, I won't. All right, another, these are another pair of werewolf claws. Um, let me just put them on. All right, can we make these more difficult? All right, I got one of them on. Let me put the other one. Here are another pair of werewolf claws. I got these from Spirit Halloween. Yeah. And here's a vintage pair of... I'm guessing zombie. I don't, I don't really know what this is. To be honest. I just got them. They look cool to me. Getting these on. Yeah, I'm ready. These are these vintage zombie claws. It says some writing on it, or well, fake anyway. Yeah, pretty cool stuff. I I don't really know what this is. They look like zombie ants to me. Right. Once again, another werewolf claw. Claws. I have so many pair of. Pairs of these. Crazy. This is another pair right here. These these still don't fit my hands. These are really big. And this is the other side of them. Pretty cool. Um, next up is another pair of werewolf claws. I have like five or more pairs of these. It's crazy. I was making sure I had them the right way. Like, can you imagine a werewolf with claws that are the other way, like this? Like this way? Like, instead of this? Like that? That would just look strange. Alright, so these are the another pair of werewolf claws. Pretty cool. Was it standing too far away from the camera? Okay, and once again, another pair of werewolf claws. And I'm saving the best ones for that. I really like these ones because they have a cool texture. Both of them. I'm always getting my fingers stuck in the same hole. Alright, here's another pair of werewolf claws. I have to back up to the camera more often now just because I'm not getting them in the frame completely. Right. The last pair of claws before we move on to the mask. These are dragon claws from Zygon Studios. These cost me a lot of money and it's a good thing I got them because 
it was definitely worth it. They look so cool on me. Hold on, I'm just trying to get them on. These are always difficult to get on at first. The sleeves, so they don't look that great. Because it has this black material around it. Like, I couldn't imagine it makes sense, but if, if, like, if this was, like, covered the same as this, like, that would be cool. Like, if this part was covered with the red part, like, yeah. I'm putting the other one on, then I'll show you the both of them at the same time. Let's get on. Hold on, this is... This is hard. Alright. Stupid. Alright, yeah, here they are. As you can see, this part doesn't look as cool, but look at this. Like, the detail on that. Like, like look at how cool this is. Like, wow. You no, know, it sounds crazy to say this, but, like, like, wow. They feel awesome, and they're comfortable. It's still realistic, too. Oh, my goodness. Alright, time for the masks. I'll pause it here. Oh. As I'm back, I have all the masks right here. And as you can see, I had to move the box over. There's so many. Not, probably a hundred. Oops, excuse me, I burped. <laughs> Alright. First one to show you is this skull mask right here. I'll put this on. So as you can see, that's how it looks. It looks so cool. It's like, wow. Right. Next up is Bowser from Super Mario Bros. It might look weird on camera, but when I'm putting it on, it looks epic. Like, what the heck? I don't have claws for this one, but someday I will. Um, this sounds really cool. It may look kind of strange because these parts are like, for some reason, I accidentally got these parts off a little, so they're gonna be flopping around like that. <laughs> so, but this looks awesome. This thing is kind of strange. Hold on. Uh, I'm just trying to figure out what's wrong with this thing. It's being strange. Alright, I think I fixed it. Hold on, what's wrong with this? Hold on, I need to pause it first, because I fixed it. Alright, this is what it looks like. Pretty cool. Like, look at the side. The detail is amazing. Like, wow, I, I really like this one. Alright, next one. This is a pretty cool one, too. Um... This is a demon mask. I got this one from Spirit Halloween. So yeah, this is what this is what it looks like. It's pretty cool. These coins are big too. Awesome. And here is a Darth Maul mask from Star Wars. Wow, it looks pretty cool. Not just like him, but it, it has some quality to it. What they mean by just not like him is because the colors are a little off, but it still looks good. Alright, yeah. Next up is the werewolf one that you've probably seen the claws from. It looks has the same exact style. This one right here, really cool. Next one is this pumpkin. It's this pumpkin monster type thing. I don't know what it is, really. 
This is what it looks like. I got this off of eBay. It's vintage, but it looked really cool. Like, like, wow. I was just fixing it. Here's another werewolf mask, but this one has realistic teeth. Like, look at that. They're even sharp, too, like, but not that sharp. It's like made out of resin or something. I don't really know. Alright, this is the other one. This kind of makes my voice sound weird. But yeah, pretty cool. Like, no, also. But, some of these I can't breathe in well. But, I got this big Chewbacca mask. It's like so big it won't even fill in my head, so it would look kind of weird. Like, look at this. I have to prop it up. It's so big. If I just have it like this, it would look so weird. Like, my eyes wouldn't be positioned properly. I was going to return this, but I decided to keep it, probably just for a display purpose, I, I don't know. Um, then I got this vintage black panther mask, it's kind of deformed a little, when I had it in that box for so long. And this is what that looks like, it's pretty cool. For some reason, I always think vintage things are cool because they're like from the 80s or the 90s. I, I don't know. Or the 70s even. Alright, next one is a, zomb a pretty realistic zombie mask. But this is not even by Immortal Masks, but it still looks pretty realistic if it's just made out of wood. Alright, this is what it looks like. Like, wow. The detail on this is pretty good for, for the price of it, too. Like. Alright, next one. My mask, my, I mean, I can't talk to it. Oh my god. Um, this, this bucket right here is getting pretty full of baskets. Here's a vintage gargoyles mask for the, sh from the show Gargoyles on Disney Plus. Oh, this one looks cool. Like, yeah. and I just gave that to make it look scarier. It's pretty cool. Right. Next one is this is my favorite dragon mask. This is a dragon mask with hair on the back and horns right here. Right. This is my favorite one out of all of them. It's pretty cool. Like, look at the detail on that. The back is like, whoa. It's like one of those cool dragon characters from a movie or something. It doesn't look that realistic on camera, but it sure does feel like it. Oh, <laughs> it's made out of like that material some people use for purses. I, I don't know what it's called, like vinyl or polyvinyl. I don't know what they call it. I'm just guessing. Here we got a ghost face mask with this hood thing. I've always had one actually. All right, hold on, let me find this thing. I kind of, there we go. And here's the ghost face mask. It's pretty cool. Very spooky. I haven't seen any of the horror movies for Halloween. I just thought they looked cool. And here's another one. I don't know what it is. It looks like a creepy green smiley face. Alright, here we got this one. I don't know what this is from, but it's something. Alright. This bottle, this thing's getting pretty full. Yeah. Compress it a little. Yeah. Uh, here is, like, it looks like a dog, but it says it's an Anubis mask, an Egyptian god. And this is the one that's not as detailed. So, here's what it looks like. It just looks like a dog. <laughs> Basically, it's just a dog. Yeah. It's really nothing that special. It just looks like a dog or something. Alright, here's the high definition or detailed Anubis mask with color. With lots of detail. Alright, 
Alright, this is what it looks like. Oh god, it looks so cool. Like, look at that. Like, wow. The reason I purchased this is to, like, look how cool it is. Like, the thing on here, too. Like, wow. Alright. And here is a dinosaur mask. It doesn't completely match the dinosaur, the velociraptor claws, but it's close enough. It's also green. And this is what this looks like. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Yeah. As you can see, my ba my my basket of masks and claws are getting pretty full. I'm not even near the end yet. Right here is a werewolf mask. It just doesn't have any claws to match it, but this is what it looks like. It's pretty cool. It kind of looks like a little other type of a werewolf mask. Next up is an eagle mask to match the eagle claws I had. This so it looks cool. Uh, it looks like more like a chicken, I, I don't know. But, yeah, the detail is pretty cool. Next up, I got a horse mask. And not particularly into this, I just wanted to get it because everyone else had one pretty... Well, not everyone, but some people. This looks interesting. And that's the horse mask. It's, it's pretty cool. I can't see well under this though. So... Alright, here's another skeleton mask. This one has a little rib cage here, and this one's hard to put on, so let me just do that really quick. Ooh. Actually, it's not that hard, but it's cool. Alright, this is what it looks like. It's pretty cool. The skeleton. Right here, it, it, it feels really interesting. It's like, it, it's really cool. Like, this is even more detailed than the other one. This one even has an open mouth. That's pretty cool. Alright, <laughs> next up is, um, um, Stripe from the Gremlins. This really cool, like, whoa. <laughs> I'm making the sound a little bit. And to get this on, I had to, like, I had to like cut a few, I had to cut a few little holes in it, or little slits, so I could fit it perfectly, like as you can see, there's one right here, I I did have to cut it, don't get mad at me, I just want, I just wanted it to fit my face, that's all, it's alright, my masks don't even fit in the basket probably anymore, Alright, here's a werewolf mask to match the other claw. Uh, oops, I burped again. Excuse me. <laughs> here's the other werewolf mask. This one feels really weird. As you can see, alright. It's pretty cool. Um, here is another dragon mask. This one's actually a full head. Or a full mask instead of a half one. Or a semi half, I don't know. Wait, is this on right? Yeah. And this is the dragon mask right here. It looks pretty awesome. It's, it's like, like one of those gray dragons. It's, it's really cool, but I like the other one better. Just for some reason. Here's a, a lion mask. It's just has its mouth open. It's not even closable. Well, it is, but you have to do that. <laughs> and that just makes it look weird. It's like, like open the whole time. Okay. Alright, next one is an, a werewolf mask I got from. Uh, I, I don't actually know the brand name. I can't really say it because 
because I don't know how to say it, like, oh, I know, um, Ghoulish Productions, yeah, that one, this one's gonna take a little bit of time to get on, so let me pause it again, I think I fixed it, got it working correctly, and this is it, right here, it's, it's pretty realistic, and my mouth even moves, let's see, it looks kind of weird, it's like lopsided a bit. I mean, I can't really, I don't know what you call that. Like, strange mouth there, right? Next one is, the be- the be- a realistic looking beast mask from Beauty and the Beast. This isn't the actual one from the movie. It's, it's like, it's like, it does look very close to this one. Alright, this is it. So, what do you guys think? Does it look really close? You notice some hair is falling out of it. I mean, it wasn't that good reviewed anyways, but I just wanted to get it. It looks cool. Like, look at that. <clears throat> like, yeah. <laughs> oh my goodness, I'm gonna have to do something with these. I'm done with this video. I'm gonna put it back in my closet. <laughs> Alright, here's a Pennywise mask. I don't particularly want it. And clowns don't scare me, so. Yeah. <laughs> like, look at. Oh my goodness, he's so crazy on this. Alright. Another lion mask. This one's vintage from eBay. I know probably not the best place to buy things because we're turning them hard, but this is what it looks like. It's pretty. It's pretty cool. All right. <laughs> yeah, it's really cool. All right. I hope everyone could, could see that. Here's another. Dragon mask. This one apparently glows in the dark, but I don't know for a fact. Let me try it really quick. It's gonna look kind of dark in the room, but I will try my best. And here is that glow in the dark dragon mask. Apparently, it has some things in the teeth here. Let me turn it off and tell me if you see anything different. Oh yeah, you, you can see it, like, very slightly. Can you guys see that? Like, it looks like a sleep paralysis demon, a little bit. If you know what I'm talking about. The one that, like, holds you like this. Okay, alright, that's enough of that. Putting it back on. And this is what it looks like by default. But it looks pretty cool. Alright, we're almost finished. Okay, these masks are just falling off. And at this point, I'm just not gonna bother until I'm done with the video. Here's the another werewolf mask that came off the mask that came off the claws. Kept saying it differently. All right, here it is. For some reason, the mask right here and the claws is costing around two hundred, which is weird. I know it's dumb for me to spend on on something like that, but here it is. I think it's because I got the whole costume, which I won't review in this video, but I've tested it all on in another video, a short. But yeah, this is what it looks like. It's, it doesn't even look that realistic. I mean, yeah, it has an interesting little material inside. I really like that. But, yeah. Alright, the last few masks. Here is a dog mask, apparently. Um, here is this one. I don't know. It's like a wolf or something. This one's supposed to have glow in, not glow in the dark, but this one's supposed to have lights on it, which don't work. Next one is the, actually the last one 
is this werewolf one. For some reason, this reminds me of that wolf from that wolf soldier from the movie Kung Fu Panda 2. Like, you'll, you'll see what I mean when I put it on, probably. The, the eyes and everything matches. And this is the wolf itself. The wolf, the werewolf mask, actually. And this is my final mask. So, what do you guys think? Some of these masks are hard to talk. And this one, like, gives me a list or something. But, yeah. And that is every mask I have. And every claw I have. So we'll see you guys later. Goodbye, guys.